why do mutations lead to the disease? Now, the first thing we know is, of course, you're, um, if you are a person with ADPKD, then you've inherited one good gene and one bad gene. And your kidneys can function. As long as you have one good gene, the cysts won't form. One gene is enough in this, for, the ADP, for PKD1 or PKD2. As long as you have one normal gene, you're fine. So when you're born, you have one normal copy, and your kidneys develop and are formed properly. Now, somehow we believe during the time, the, the good copy gets a mutation. Our genes are constantly being mutated. That's just the nature of growing old. You know, all sorts of things cause genes to be mutated. We don't understand all the, the factors. But sometime we believe, just by the law of chance, in s very small number of cells, you lose the good copy. So then you have a cell that has the inherited bad copy, and the good copy's gone bad by a random, what they call somatic mutation. So then you have a cell that has neither, no good copies of the polycystin 1 or polycystin 2 protein. Both, all the copies are defective. It is those single cells that will then grow to form the cyst. And that's why the cysts are rare. They're not in all the cells, they're just in some of the cells. But if just some of the cells form the cysts, they grow very, very large, they squeeze out the normal cells, and that's why eventually, after you know, 40, 50 years of growing these cysts, eventually they grow large enough that they squeeze out all the normal tissue, and then we lose our kidney function.